Am I the asshole for screaming at my mom and forbidding her from seeing my child? ETA. I'm a male. When I was 15 my sister outed me to my parents who promptly kicked me out. I moved in with my boyfriend, now husband, and cut off all contact with them. Fast forward 10 years, I'm 25 he's 24 and we just had our first kid through surrogates and couldn't be happier. Until yesterday when my mom showed up at my house. How she found my address I don't know. She said she'd found out that I had a kid now and she wanted to meet her only chance at being a grandma. Neither of my sisters want kids, I told her tough luck and asked her to leave. She continued trying to get me to let her in but I kept refusing. Eventually I started shouting at her that if she didn't get the FCK off of my property I would call the police. She started crying and begging to see my daughter. I told her that if she ever came anywhere near any of us I was getting a restraining order against her. She finally left but I'm starting to feel like I was too harsh. Am I the asshole? Hell no. Not the asshole. Your parents kicked you out as a minor. Your mom can't just show up and demand to see her granddaughter. Edited. Hell nah. Became. Hell no. So a bot wouldn't confuse it for one of the acronyms of judgments used on this subreddit. Not the asshole. I've never understood how anyone could kick a child out of their home. She blew her chance at being a grandma when she couldn't be a good mother. Congratulations on the birth of your daughter, XXX. Not the asshole, your parents kicked you out as a minor, I'm so, so sorry and she showed up to see your child, not you. She is not entitled to have a relationship with your child and you had every right to be as harsh as you were when she showed up to your house unannounced after a decade. That's some audacity. Definitely not the asshole. Congratulations on your new, happy family life. Not the asshole. She just took her pants off and dropped a massive steamy dump on your boundaries. That's not the way to rekindle a relationship. She burned that bridge a long long time ago. It's not fair for you to be expected to welcome her back in when she only went after you when she felt she had something to gain from it. Also, no is a complete sentence, and she somehow managed to fail at understanding a two-letter word. Maybe she needed a restraining order to be able to do so. She didn't love you when she found out you were gay. It's in the best interest of your child to keep people like that away. Screaming wasn't the best choice. You could have just threatened, or began, to call the police and or get the restraining order, but you're not the asshole. Not the asshole. My husband's mom did the same thing. Showing up when our baby was born and demanding to see it. And my husband responded similar to you. You have an obligation to protect your child from toxic people, and it sounds like you're doing just that. Not the asshole. You were well within your rights but for argument's sake let's say she did want to try to repair her relationship with you and have a relationship with your daughter. She went about it the wrong damn way. You're absolved all around. Edit. Congratulations by the way. I'm very happy for you for the new baby and that you're doing well in your relationship. Not the asshole. She gave up the right to your time when she threw you out. She doesn't get a pass on hemophilia because a grandchild is involved. Not the asshole. She kicked you out as a teenager and now she shows up on your doorstep 10 years later because she wants to meet your baby. She's long on nerve and short on memory. You asked her to leave, she refused. Sometimes you have to make a lot of noise to scare off a rodent, so nope, you weren't too harsh, no harsher than she was when she kicked you to the curb. Document the encounter, she'll be back, people like your mother can't help but make nuisances out of themselves. Tell the grandmother that the granddaughter is gay. Maybe then she'll leave you all alone. Also, not the asshole. Not the asshole. She kicked you out at 15 because you were gay. She can't just show up out of nowhere and demand to see her grandchild. She hasn't even tried to apologize or make things right with you. Info. Have you seen her since you left her house? Or, is this the first time? She knows your address and knows you recently had a child? Someone you know is feeding her information about you. Not the asshole. She cannot just show up and pretend like nothing happened. If she wanted to open a dialogue this was the absolute wrong way to do it. I hope you and your family have an amazing life and surround yourselves with only love. Not the asshole. Toxic family can GTFO. You did the right thing. Not the asshole in my opinion. If you end up being okay with the idea later, you can reach out. She had no right just to ambush you like that. Not the asshole. 
If she wants to see her grandson, she can start by offering a sincere apology to you and your husband. Then, you decide if it is enough. It is entirely on her to take the steps to repair this relationship and entirely on you whether it is enough. Edit. Granddaughter. Sorry, I missed that. Not the asshole. Grandmas get promoted from mom. So first they have to pass that test. She failed. Not the asshole. You reap what you sow. Your sister outed you for what? Having a boyfriend? W-D-Y-M. My sister outed me. Why did your sister out you? Just curious. You didn't have to answer if you didn't want to. Not the asshole. If you ever want a relationship with her, it should be on your terms. I'm very sorry you went through that. And congrats on your new child. Not the asshole you are protecting your child from your mother. Your child will never experience the betrayal you experienced if you continue to protect them. Good job. Not the asshole. She made her choice quite some time ago, and you shouldn't have to let her into your life if you don't want to. Not the asshole. She sounds like a terrible parent making a 15-year-old homeless. She deserved to die with not knowing her grandchild. Not the asshole. Had she reached out and apologized and tried to regain your trust with her, you would be. But her showing up out of the blue and expecting you to just let her waltz back in with no repercussions. The audacity just astounds me. She ceased to be your mother when she kicked you out at 15. In my opinion, she's basically a stranger demanding access to your baby. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your mother kicked you out of the house at 15 for being gay. One, that's illegal. Two, she's now been stripped of her mother and grandmother privileges. Three, imagine if that was your children she kicked out for being gay and the sort of beliefs she'd try to pass along onto your children. Not the asshole. I don't even understand how it's legal to kick a child out of home. Your mother needs to accept the consequences of her actions. She threw her own child out. You really think she's gonna be a good granny to the baby? Maybe, until he becomes someone she doesn't approve of and she promptly drops him as she did you. Not the asshole, and the absolute nerve on her as well. Not the asshole while on the one hand I understand she may have had a, come to Jesus, moment when she found out that you had a child, it doesn't detract from the fact that she treated you poorly upon finding out your orientation. The proper, adult, way to handle it would have been to try to reach out to you apologize, and re-establish a bond with you. Showing up expecting to be allowed to see your child with no preamble bespeaks that not only does she not feel she was wrong, she feels entitled to see your daughter no matter what she has done to you, which potentially creates a toxic environment for said child even if you let her into the child's life. You made the right call, and you handled the situation the best you could given the circumstances. Sometimes karma plays the long game. This is one of those times. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, and not too harsh. You don't need any justification for denying her access, although you have plenty of solid reasons for doing so. Op you are not the asshole. The end. However, the side question bears asking. Do you want a relationship with your mother? If so, the door has opened for it. You could use this opportunity to offer your mother the chance to rebuild her relationship with you. If she wants to, great. Try that. See how it goes, and maybe in a year or two she can build enough trust to meet your child. If not, well, now you know. Good luck. Not the asshole. She decided she wanted nothing to do with you when you were outed and returned when you had a grandkid. People like her don't let up easily so you might want to prepare for you mother to keep trying by other means. Not the asshole. If she sincerely wanted to make up, she had all of the time since you moved out. It is not a coincidence that she only shows up now that she wants to be a grandma. That baby is yours and you get to decide who comes around them. That woman has no entitlement to your child in any circumstance, but especially not in this one. You forfeit your grandmothering rights when you give up on your kid. Sucks for her, but good for you for defending yourself and your family. Not the asshole she only wants to break into your house, meet you to see your daughter and satisfy her wish of being a grandmother. After choosing to kick you out as a minor, the restraining order does not sound like a bad idea. If she did want to make amends this is not the way to go about it. Not the asshole even if you had wanted to forgive her, I would have been hesitant because think how easily she turned on her own child, 
What happens if your daughter has an identity that your mom disapproves of? Will you risk your daughter being shunned by bigots who don't deserve her? You did the right thing. Don't feel guilty. NTA. That's not how family works. Not the asshole. Parents who abdicate their responsibilities to their children don't get the privilege of being a grandparent. Especially when they show up unannounced, make demands, then cry and throw a tantrum when denied. I hope this is the last time you have to deal with your damaging past and can go on to enjoying your life with your husband and daughter. It sounds like it was well earned. Not the asshole. it's possible she's grown and changed but it's up to her to prove to you she has changed, then you can make the decision whether or not she meets your daughter. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Next time she tries this, call the police. Not the asshole and here's why. She didn't care about you when she kicked you out why should you ever give her the time of day again? You could have died back then. You were really young and homeless and vulnerable and what she did is never forgivable. Info. How did you afford surrogacy at 25? Not the asshole. Get the trespass order. She comes over again get a restraining order. NTA and looking at her attitude, your mother may not be the best influence on your young, impressionable daughter. Focus on the bundle of joy, congrats by the way heart exclamation, and don't let the guilt get the best of you. If you do want a relationship with your mother, baby steps at your own pace. Best of luck. First not the asshole, you, new P7180, it sounds like you did the right thing. Second I am estranged from my entire family for reasons similar to yours. You might find this article on the, missing missing reasons, helpful as it follows estranged parent forums. FTW I'm sorry she broke into your piece like that. My parents wouldn't have dignity of me telling them to leave. They would have mace to the face and the cops called before I was willing to converse with them, as they are a direct, confirmed danger to my well-being. 